Shields up, Ironbreakers. How's everybody doing today? Hope you're all doing good. Hope we can improve on that. We're going to be playing some Monster Hunter World. Going to be chilling out, hanging out, doing all of the things. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We interacted with Poogie. I mean, the moment you interact with Poogie, you gotta give him a nice little rub. It's the only way to do it. It's just the only way to do it. He was on time for once. Yeah, I did it just for you, Mr. Tummy Giggles. I just want you to be aware. Because of that, I did not take my pre-stream piss. Okay? Because of Mr. Tommy Giggles constantly lecturing me about being late, I'm going to be holding it in, okay? And once I start having bladder con bladder problems, oh, man. I'll always remember him. I will report him to my physician. I'm like, yeah, this guy keeps making fun of me, always saying I'm late to stream, so I just decided I would not take a piss anymore. <laughs> Trying to play some more world again to Rurikon, but the game keeps crashing every time I load into a quest and I have to do some troubleshooting. I'm sorry to hear that, Forgotten Oath. Hopefully you'll be able to get that sorted. Update your drivers. Maybe. I don't know. Don't know what to tell you, dude. Let's take a look. Are there any quests? Nope. We're going to be fighting another Rathian then to start us off. We're going to be fighting another Rathian to start us off because, you know, that's what we were hunting last time. We still need a couple of more spikes. A couple of more spiky boys. It is what it is. Hey, partner. No, I, I, don't, I don't plan on doing any grinding offline, guys, because I, I'm pretty busy with other projects offline. I don't really have any free time at all. So, like, this morning I recorded a video, which I'll be releasing a little bit later. I was supposed to record something else. Supposed to record something else that starts with a three. But uh, somebody's too busy playing MMOs. And so I couldn't record something else that starts with a three. So, yeah. There you go. We'll see if we'll be able to record something else that starts with a three at a later date. Uh, is it a two stars? No, it's a three stars. Royal relocation. Oh, it's four stars, actually. Oh, man, we've made all the camps. All the camps. Uh, I say we start here. Yeah, we chill. We big time chilling. The Final Fantasy Fleet Podcast. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. The Triple F Podcast. Final Fantasy Fleet. Just you wait, White Walker. Hey, Jay's gonna play Final Fantasy fourteen as well. And Ratatoskers next. I'm coming for all of them, okay? Listen, 269's girlfriend already plays Final Fantasy XIV. Everybody's going to play Final Fantasy XIV, all right? That's the way that it goes. I might be picking up that bone over there on the lower left-hand side. <laughs> Asari Ugetsu, is Dragon's Dogma worth playing? Definitely. It is not necessary for you to enjoy Dragon's Dogma 2 to have played Dragon's Dogma 1. The Dragon's Dogma 1 is just a fantastic game to play. Got my copy of Encyclopedia Eorzea 3 yesterday. I actually bought the first volume of Encyclopedia Eorzea to give as a Christmas present to a friend of mine. I don't actually know if he already has it. I hope not. Hi, 
I went in a little bit too soon. Lady, this is a Wendy's. took a little bit longer than I predicted to recover. All right, let's bust up her back. Chop. She's gonna be mad. We're gonna blast her. Ooh, that's not good. No! Woof! <laughs> oh, damn, that was close. Wait, why is this thing like this? What the hell? We changed it last time. I had already changed it to this. You mind? You mind like keeping up, buddy? Like, what the hell? Let's keep up, please. I changed it last time. Why is it still not proper? Anyway, let's chop this up. By the way, Tim, if you're enjoying the stream, do remember you can hit the like button. Really, really helps us out. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm a master at Monster Hunter. I've been training for eight years, and this game looks like shit. I'll tell you what, Banzai Ben. Let me tell you something. Banzai! And he's gone. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's like, listen, I am willing to entertain dissenting opinions, but when your opinion is literally worthless and wrong in every single aspect i'm also willing to ban your ass for it bonsai ben got bonsai now he's gone he's gonna be speaking into the void sent his ass to the shadow realm Listen, this eight-year master of Monster Hunter got his ass whooped one time too many by the Rathian, and he couldn't take it anymore.
You thought he was joking? Ah, I'm joking too. It's all one big joke. No, I thought she was further ahead of me. Let's go, baby! Let's go, baby! Bazoosh! Ah, the wings. A little bit of dry SAV action. She's already limping, the poor girl. And listen, Rathian, the farming's just begun, okay? We got two spikes we need to get, and I don't care how many times we gotta kill you to get them. Miz and Jamal, thank you very much for the souls. Oh, oh, trying to get my hat. Tip of the hat, appreciate the support, thank you. Not sure how many streams you'll be doing from now till then. Just want to say Merry Christmas to you and the family. Hope you have a wonderful time. Appreciate you all for the great moments. Well, thank you. Thank you very much, Ms. and Jamal. I appreciate it. Merry Christmas to you and yours as well. I appreciate it. As a matter of fact, Merry Christmas to everybody in here. I don't know how many streams you guys will be watching. I think I will stream probably one more time or two times before Christmas. I'm trying to set up like a couple of things to, to have uh, maybe one or two videos during the Christmas period, but the reality is there's not a lot of juice left in the tank, boys. Like 2023 has consumed me entirely. So uh, yeah, I don't know how many more videos we'll have until the end of the year. I am dead tired, boys. <laughs> oh, man. World is good, but sad there's no switch skills. I like switch skills. I was actually surprised at the amount of people that don't want switch skills, which I think is a valid opinion to have. But I hope that there's some form of system like switch skills in, in Wilds. Too busy str throwing that ban hammer to stream? What? I barely ever ban people. Maybe they mistook switch skills with swap scroll. You'd have to not watch the video to get that interpretation. Because like in the video I specifically said, I'm talking about switch skills, not swap scrolls. I think switch skills are really cool. Rui, how's the cold? I don't have a cold. I just have like, um, my voice box is just tired because of the, because of how cold it is. Because it's cold and dry. My voice box gets my voice box gets all dried up, and I have to constantly go. <clears throat> no.
probably should break her back. Listen, baby girl. We're gonna we need to do some jumping attacks, okay? Come on over to this side. That's it. No! Well, that didn't really work. We gave her the chop. <laughs> no, the spikes, the spiky boys. Red Devil, thank you very much for the souls. Tip of the hat, appreciate support, thank you. I was main hammer player in World and Iceborne. And in Rise, Hammer, Dual Blades, and Hunting Horn, and from your guide, I'm now learning Charge Blade, waiting for Gunlance. Let's fucking go, Red Devil. Let's go, dude. Get that Gunlance going. Oh, shit. I haven't carved. Damn it. I need to carve. Did you capture monsters for optional quests, too? I will eventually. Where I carved the spike? Oh, I did? I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy smacking the other guy around. Red Devil, thank you very much for being grossing at this for 24 months. Tip of the hat. Appreciate support. Thank you. Oh, man. We only got one spike. We only got one spike. Well, did we carve any, any spike? I don't think we carved spikes. Besides the tail. Do you think Wild will use the same engine as World? No, I think Wild is going to use RE engine. Hey, partner. Evans, thank you very much for the souls. The Tip of the hat. Appreciate the support. Thank you. Rurikon with Wild's Final Fantasy XIV can do another collab, right? Which one would you like? I would love an Ariel Bismarck fight in Wild's and Baza Leggy on Final Fantasy. I actually think Wild's is going to collab with Final Fantasy XVI. I think it's going to collab with Final Fantasy 16, and I would like a Phoenix fight, if I could get one. Although Phoenix fight would be more about flying, so I don't know. We'd need to come up with something else, maybe a simpler monster. But Phoenix would be my go-to. What about Bahamut? What about Bahamut kind of like Volstrax? You know, you already have Volstrax. Just do something similar. To, just do like a a Bahamut skin for Volstrax. <laughs> Let me just check because I didn't pay attention to my carves. Bro, we freed Gunlands. How's your gear holding up? Ah, uh, let's see. Yep, we just need one more spike. We just gotta go kill her again until she drops that spike. I don't think we're getting a Horizon Zero Dawn collab this time around. So, I don't, I don't think that's happening, guys. I'm sorry. I think Capcom will want to maximize on the platforms that they can release in, as opposed to just doing the PlayStation thing. Bro, the amount of people are spreading misinformation that Wilds will be released on Switch 2 is insane. How do you know that Wilds is not going to be releasing on Switch 2? How do we even know what Switch 2 is? Who the fuck knows anything about that? I wouldn't call it misinformation, I'd call it speculation. People want to be hyped for the monster for Monster Hunter coming to their platform. This is a good thing. Maybe it'll a lot of fire under Nintendo's ass. Maybe it'll a lot of fire into Capcom's ass to release the game on more platforms. You know? I want it to be on as many platforms as possible. Switch 2 included. Hey, partner! Okay. 
Tiny Tuna Zombies, the problem with uh, what you what you just described, which is wall banging, the problem with wall banging is that uh, it gets old. Basically, you just get into this rhythm of the fight where it's like, oh, is the monster is the monster enraged? No, wall bang time. Is it enraged? Okay, let's just fight him as normal. It was every time the monster was not enraged, you'd be wall banging every single time. That's the problem. From what I saw of Wilds, the graphics visuals look between Rise and World. No, 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 no. I think they looked slightly better than World. But we haven't seen a whole lot, so there's still plenty of more things to look over. Do you expect Monster Hunter Wilds to be crossplay? Yes. Crossplay, I think, is pretty much guaranteed. But keep in mind, I'm talking crossplay with random matchmaking. So, like the SOS type stuff that you do in Monster Hunter World and in Monster Hunter Rise, that I will expect it to be seamless crossplay. Actually doing parties? That I don't know. I'm waiting to see what they're doing with Exoprimal. Because Exoprimal could do crossplay matchmaking from the get go, but it couldn't actually do party matchmaking from the get go, which is weird. It's like you can do parties, but only with people on the same platform as you. I believe they're currently working on fixing that stuff. But yeah, I don't know how that's going to work out at this point. I think that Exoprimal is kind of like their, them developing their infrastructure, basically. Smack your back in there. That'll work, Rathian. Listen, Rathian, we can do this the easy way or the hard way. Me, personally, I'd rather go the easy way. I'd rather you just give me what I want, and then I don't have to come in here and murder your whole family. else you got? Come on, baby girl. My turn. Oh, Ah, oh, what? That was from the side. Hardly fair. Let's go! Boom! Bro, it's messed up again! I think I can't do it on a quest. I need to do it on town because otherwise it doesn't save.
Are you reselecting your loadout, perhaps? I mean, my item loadout, yeah. I forget how that stuff works. I probably need to save it and then save the loadout, and then the loadout will be saved with the thing. Oh crap, I forgot to heal. No! I'm gonna die because of this. I'll just pop a magic potion. Get my friggin' ass killed over this quest thing. more than you could chew there, baby girl. Really? She's not gonna stagger from a big-ass SAD to the face? That's unfortunate. Okay, well, in that case... We're gonna do this again! Actually, I need to do... This, wait, what? Supply box. Okay, this, and then... See, but that, that, that didn't change it. Shouldn't that have changed it now that I've reloaded it? I feel like it should have. Wait, before I even do that. Let me actually do something else. While I'm on it, we're gonna go ahead and do the thing. We're gonna do the thing. Wait, let's craft... Let's craft quite a couple of these. Okay, that should be enough. Now, let's store this. Five is the maximum? Okay, and that's... Uh, yeah, sure, we'll keep the five, because it's not like you you have to automatically craft it, so it's whatever. Uh, although I probably would craft it. Nicholas Frost, thank you very much for the souls. Tip of the hat. Appreciate the support. Thank you. As a newfound gun lens lover, I hope they keep more of the Rise moveset for wild. I love blast dashing and the erupting cannon. More boom, the better. I don't know about that. That's a that's a that's a conflicting one. Look, I'm the biggest advocate for Gunlance, and even I'm not sure if I want what we have in Rise. It's a little bit too arcadey. I mean, aerial shelling combined with like three blasts of blast dash. It's a bit much for a more grounded monster hunter adventure. You know, it's a bit much. So I, I don't know exactly how I personally even feel about it when it comes to that particular situation. But, uh, yeah. It's something to consider. Uh, where do you auto crafting on? Yeah, leave that in there. And actually, should I? No, let's not. We'll just craft these manually. Let's craft these manually. Yeah. Because uh, that's the thing. When you have a more grounded Monster Hunter entry, it's like, I love Blast Dash. I, in a lot of ways, I do hope Blast Dash makes a return. But if it doesn't, I'll understand why. Although, I'll also say, if Blast Dash makes a return, I'm not sure that we should be allowed to just chain three Blast Dashes together. kind of feel like that's maybe a bit much. If you want a more grounded entry, I don't want to be like, Blast dash, and then shell, shell, blast dash again, shell, blast dash. It's like, you know, I'm looking for a more grounded experience is what I'm getting at.
Make Blast Dash a switch skill for Wyvern Fire? No. No. Wyvern Fire is a core skill. No. No, 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 no. You've inspired me to start a new game for, for World? That's good. I hope more people check out World or replay World or whatever. I think this is a good thing. This is an absolute win for everybody involved. Uh, let's see. I want here... Do 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 wait. This All right. So poison up there. And then the null berry down here. I think that's how I had it. And then in here, it should be tool number two. So that doesn't exist yet. Because we don't have tool number two yet, so I'll just actually What the hell? Let's put this in there until we get tool number two. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. I think that's a good idea. That looks about right. That looks about right, gentlemen. And now that we have that, let's save this loadout. There we go. I just feel like Blast Dash is needed to keep up with the monsters. What if the monsters don't move as fast? That's the thing. If you slow everything down, you no longer have the need for everybody to be so mobile. If you slow everything down, you no longer have the need for everybody to be spamming counters. Every single weapon to have a counter. If you slow things down, you don't need everything to be so fast. Which, in a more grounded Monster Hunter approach, one could almost argue more like World, you don't need all of those things that you had in Rise. And I hope that that's what, I, what they intend to do. Stream looking crisp? I'm glad you like it. I, I you know, I'm very proud of my streaming quality. <laughs> yeah, like older Monster Hunters, exactly. I can see that. I mainly love the fluidity. We can smack, blast. Yeah, I agree. You can really get into the zone. But, like, you can get into the zone with a slower playstyle as well. Like, you can see me get into the zone even with the limited tools that I currently have available to me in base Monster Hunter World while playing the Charger Blade. I can get into the zone. It's just a matter of do we need all of the complexity that we have in Rise Sunbreak? And the answer is no. I'm much happier focusing more on the dance than on the mechanical complexity of the weapons. Slow them down like arch-tempered monsters. <laughs> okay, I get it. I get it. Ugh. Charge Blade did not feel as much better in World. Yes, it does. Charge Blade, I agree. Charge Blade does feel much better with World. Gunlands feels better in Rise Sunbreak. As a matter of fact, I don't know if I'm going to be doing a lot of gunlancing in this, uh, in this run. Go for all the marbles. Gotta bust up the back.
Will this be a Let's Play series? I mean, we're in uh, the fourth live stream, so yeah. <laughs> I guess it is. Let's make it official, shall we? Was that a wing? That was a wing. Sit down, I ain't done. I wasn't done speaking, you hear? Ooh! That was beautiful, that was downright sexual. Holy crap. No! With her little stub, her little stub of a tail, she kills us. This is some garbage. This is some garbage, man. Burakan, I thought you were a professional. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. Yeet this, delete us. Dude, it was the stuff. She, she doesn't have a tail anymore. I chopped it off. How does that even deal that much damage? Shouldn't deal that much damage. I chopped it off. Need a real charge blade user? No. I'm the real charge blade user. Been a charge blade main all my life. Bonk. 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 Not even going for the head this time. Going straight for that back. Yes, there it is. Good girl. She she doesn't want she doesn't want us to come back here. There it is. Dun, 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 dun. I saw a temptation of a combat car flicker across your face. No, 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 Blunty. We don't call those combat carves, okay? Those are called pro carves, because only the professionals do them, okay? Newcomers to the series know better than to carve during combat. It is only the professionals that go in for the carve. It's a pro carve. They are noob carves. No, pro carves. You're getting it wrong, Kegrin. The pro carves. Yeah, buddy. How's uh, Insect Glaive treating you, Blunty? Professionals, of course. Professional monster hunters. People carve during combat when they're scared of the quest. No, we carve during combat because we're comfortable enough that we can predict everything that is happening. Wait, did I break the back already? Did. That means we can bust. We can bust. Let's go. Boom. Yeah, buddy. See that? Man, I'm, my nose is itchy as hell today. My apologies, team. And... There it is, number two.
Really sinking it to Hidden World. Still love. Rise, Sunbreak, Insect Wave way more because the extra mobility. I don't know. Sunbreak Glaive was a little bit harder for me to get used to, but that's because I didn't play it that much. Sit down, Rathian. Sit down. Papa's gonna go to work. Come on. Let's go. Want some more? Come on. Have another one. Come on. Let's go. Ah! She missed me. Damn it. How many more guard points is it going to take, baby? Sword mode only. <laughs> That's what I need to do. Sword mode only. No SADs. Let's go. We only play sword mode charge blade. <laughs> I love sword mode charge blade though. It's really fun. Imagine if Rui was known more for Charge Blade but not Gunlance. Mercutio, here's the interesting part, right? I would argue that the moment where my channel kind of exploded was around Monster Hunter World. That was the biggest growth spurt we've ever seen on the channel. And during Monster Hunter World, the weapon that I would usually go to whenever I was fighting something really tough was actually the Charge Blade. Charge Blade was kind of like my go-to weapon more so than Gunlance. I think I had way more hunts of Charge Blade than Gunlance by the time I finished Monster Hunter World. So even though I'm more known for Gunlance because I like Gunlance more, Charge Blade was much more my go-to. Here we go, team. Here we go, team. It's time to break the game. It's time to break the game. Uh, this this is like you guys know the the Vince McMahon strut. Let me let me let me show you guys for those of you that aren't wrestling fans. Let me let me show you guys. This is a little bit small. I think they're all small. Kind of sucks. Oh well. We'll use the small one anyway. This is me right now, walking towards the the blacksmith to craft the to craft the Rathian the Rathian charge blade. That's me. I'm doing the Vince McMahon strut all the way to the workshop to go craft the Rathian Charge Blade, baby. <laughs> like, listen, you guys got to look at it again. Oh, no, this one's the reversed version. Where is it? Yeah, here we go. We're coming into the, <laughs> the workshop with this energy. <laughs> it's like, bro. It's time to craft the Rathian Charge Blade, baby. <laughs> How's your gear holding up? Coming in with that Vince McMahon strut. Let's go. 
Give it to me, baby. Oh, yeah. Look at that bad girl. There we go. Now, now, what we need is whatever it is that we need for these legs. You feeling me? Listen. Brother. Brother. Listen to me. Hey, we have two new armors. I do believe it is time for another armor review. Okay, this one's a straight up W. I don't know how you can like look at an armor that looks like this and you can have anything negative to say about it. You understand? This is how you win. Actually, doesn't this come with artillery as well? I'm pretty sure this has artillery, one of these slots. Oh, it's heavy artillery. Capacity boost, though. Wait, is this what I think it is? No, in here it's called magazine, right? No, it is! It is! Bro! Capacity boost. Let's go! <laughs> yes! Yes! Give me that! Mm. Capacity boost, baby. But yeah, this is this is a W armor. Like straight up. A little bit on the extra thick size, but this is a good thing. This is a very good thing. W armor. King Beetle. Freaks me the fuck out. Feels like it comes straight out of a villain from Power Rangers. I ain't about that life. I think it looks really cool thematically, but I ain't about that life, okay? That ain't me. <laughs> oh, man. Not as ugly as Ruragon armor. Don't you be besmirching the good name of Uragon armor, okay? I forget which one of my friends said, I think it was Nox Tom, who came into my stream and said something like, it looks like a dung beetle, fuck the pineapple. And I was like, bro, why you gotta be so savage to Oregon armor? Come on, man. Why you gotta be so savage? No, I, I'm not the biggest fan of King Beetle. I get why people would enjoy it, but I ain't about that life. High metal, on the other hand, I am a high metal enjoyer, all right? I'm all about that life. Yeah, we got capacity boost in there. Which is actually really good. What skills do we have in here? Quick sheet, leap of faith, honey hunter, forager's luck. What's forager's luck? Chance of finding rare gathering points. Yeah, we don't need that. We need this. Artillery. We need an Angie pelt. We need an Angie pelt. That's what I want. We could also do with a poison attack on gloves. What do we have right now for gloves? We have Pro Transporter? No, 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 that's not what we're using. We're using Slugger. Slugger is very good. Do I take Slugger over poison attack? I think I do. I think I do. For what we're doing right now, yeah, we take Slugger. All right. Now then, let's go get Anja if we can. Let me see if we have maybe, uh, one of those investigations. Basel Alpha. Dude, I'm all about that Basel. I'm all about that Basel. Now let's see. Brother. Brother. Listen, brother. I'm gonna need to find me an Anjanath. You got Angies? Any Angies in here? Any Anjanath enjoyers? No? No Angie? <laughs> no Angie? Please! Please Angie! No Angie. Okay. Well, we need an Anjanath. Shouldn't even be too hard. It's an Anjanath pelt. How hard can it be? Brother. With this gun lance, we will change the world. Did I not equip my arm? I did. With this with this weapon, we will change the world. Okay? 
Did I say gun lens? I meant to say charge blade. Want me to check for Anja? No, no, no. Don't worry about it. We'll just do a regular quest. It's fine. Hey, partner. Hey, partner. Hey, partner. Optional. We need to deliver two wyvern eggs as well. Uh, this should be here though, right? One hell of a sinus infection. Let's go. We're gonna, we're gonna teach our man some manners. Teach this man some manners. Best I got for you is Cool and Baroth. That's fine. We don't really need those right now. But that's fine. So let me see. Did we finally update this? Is this thing working properly now? Yes. John Rivera, first time watching live stream. Well, welcome to the stream, dude. Welcome to the stream. Oh, we got capacity boost. I didn't know you could get capacity boost this early. Well, I probably didn't you. I didn't remember. You are trying to get away. You mustn't underestimate. Damn, the overcast. There he is. I found him. Scoop this up. Some more points. Let's go. Is the rain a part of the mod? There's no mods. I'm not using mods, dude. Monster Hunter Wild's open world. W or L? I think it's a win. I'll be I'll be happy either way. But I would like it if there if there's an open world there. I think it'll be interesting to see what they do with it. Bro, claggers make the game way easier. Like, we got so many claggers. Ow! those files Let's go, baby! Oh. Yeah, that 
That's it. Come on down. Come on down to Chinatown. Oh. How dare you. Got him. <laughs> you thought you were leaving? No, 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 no. We are not done, my friend. Careful now. Don't hurt yourself. Here we go. Woo! Chop! Oh, it didn't chop. That was disappointing. Oops, that didn't work. Messed up the input on that big time. There's the chop! See, it was coming. It was coming. Where are you going, buddy? You left something behind! <laughs> I told you! What did I tell you guys about the Rathian Charge Blade? Didn't I tell you about the Rathian Charge Blade? Some tells me a couple of people in chat weren't listening when I was telling them about the glory of our Lord and Savior, the Rathian Charge Blade. You guys just don't understand. Bro, Rathian Charge Blade is... Bro. Listen. This content, like, you know... You know how Twitch messed up their content policies this this past week? Where they were like, oh, we're going to allow nudity? Actually, maybe not. You know? That's where this content belongs right now, okay? On, on a, on a post-nudity Twitch right now. We can't even post this on YouTube, okay? Because this content is too spicy. Rathian Chargeblade deemed too spicy for YouTube content. Did the Anjanath get poisoned at all? I think we poisoned him like once or twice already, yeah. It's not just about the poison, though. It's about sending a message. To Haram for Twitch. Just chatting topic. Rathian charge blade. The rain only happens in ancient forest? I I don't know. I don't remember. I'm assuming it happens in other maps, but I don't actually remember. It's been a long time. <clears throat> Your name seems familiar. Have I seen you in Preach LFW streams? Bro, Preach is a Giga Chad. Preach is a Giga Chad. I actually wanted to eventually invite Preach to talk in one of my cons casts. But it's not easy getting in touch with him. I probably have to like shoot an email. Emails are very rough for me. I'm a uh, Discord slash Twitter DM enjoyer. And having your Twitter DMs off makes it very hard for me to do that. charge my blade That Rathian charge blade, I knew I shouldn't have crafted it. I warned you guys against allowing me to craft this. You guys said you should craft it. You should craft it, we're kind of it'll be fun. You're goddamn right, it's fun. It's not gonna be fun for the monsters though. <laughs> and there's the pelt we were looking for. Now we're gonna craft his legs. I told you not to look at it, bro. 
Rathian Charge Blade is just, it's a thing of beauty, okay? Then again, so is the Rathian Gun Lance. Rathian Gun Lance is also a thing of beauty. Maybe I should craft one of those too, you know, you never know, hey, you know? Maybe pull out the old Rathian Gun Lance every now and then, I mean, you know. As a Urkan, you gonna grind cold weapons? Hell no, dude. We're not doing that. We are not doing that. Regular regular lance when Rory. Oh I like explosions. Listen, man, I think Lance is a fantastic weapon. I like explosions, though. I like things that go boom. It's beautiful to me. Huracan, let's do Operation All Cove Weapons. No. I, I, I got a better idea, Wada. Let's not. Let's not, and then say that we did. How about that? Can, can we make that compromise? Let's just say no and then say that we did it, even though we didn't. Let's just lie about it. How's your gear holding up? <laughs> That's very American of you. Hey, listen. I learned my English by watching American movies. This is what America has done to me. I'm a man obsessed with explosions. All right? You know how everybody criticizes Michael Bay movies because there's too many explosions? I'm like, yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. <laughs> and Janath Artillery. I'm actually neutral on most Michael Bay movies. I don't care that much. Bum, 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 ba, da, dum. So we got artillery. We got uh, that. What do we got on gloves right now? Gloves have slugger. Our chest piece has attack boost, and our helmet has guard up one. Okay, yeah, these are all very good skills. We're good. This is a very good set. We can work with this. Big booms release happy chemicals. This is the absolute truth. This is big truth. So, now we're going to go and get yolked in the forest. Yolked in the forest. Let's go get those Rathian eggs. Wait, before we do that, can I make... Because if I could... No, because you have to go down... I think you have to go down the, the thing, right? Yeah, you have to go down the thing. Yeah, we'll... Uh, we don't actually need the other camp. It's fine. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
Don't scream, Rathian. Oh, it's fine. Yeah, you can't crawl with eggs. That's what I thought. Uh, wait. Oh, right. The nest is all the way to the top. <clears throat> Here we go. <clears throat> this makes it more interesting anyway. Wait, isn't this? Oh, here it is. I'm stealing your eggs! Casually running around with a <clears throat> with a Rathian egg. Wee! Now I forget what what's the path for the the closest camp. <laughs> Can I jump this? Probably not. You guys know that the first time I did this quest, Rathian sniped me when I was about to get to camp. Rathian? What? Rathian, no! Rathian, be reasonable! No! <laughs> yeah! Yeah, what's up? <laughs> I love how she's like, well, I can follow him, but I mean, going beyond that camp would just be too much. That would just not be reasonable. Let's get out of here. Let's go, team. <clears throat> and I'm gonna take another one. It's like a Rathian. Watch me do it again. <laughs> hey, Rathian, you mad? Cause I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> Yoink. Wee. 
The first time I did this quest, I took the eggs all the way to camp one, okay? And then the first time that I got to camp one, she sniped me with a fireball. Wee! She's big mad, and she's coming. <laughs> Rathian? Rathian, no! Like, you realize you just killed your child, right? You realize that's what you did. You killed your child. He's like, hey, you can't have him. I'd rather kill it. If she can't have her child, no one can. Yeah, that's what it seems like. My two-year-old son is enjoying this? Good. I got an idea, guys. Rathian. I don't think she's coming because she's not enraged anymore. What if I grab the egg? That's it. Come and get it. Using your children as bait, you monster. <laughs> Me? A monster? Why, sir, I have no idea what you're talking about. Bye, Rathian! He's got to go now, boys. <laughs> See ya. And I'm taking your egg. <laughs> Wee! Let's go. Me and the egg are going on an adventure. Oh god, this game is so good, dude. Me and your egg are going on an adventure, Rathian. It's all good. Don't worry about it. He's gonna have a nice home with a nice little mommy and daddy. Actually, no. Let's let's just face it. You know, the uh, the handler's just gonna fry this up, make me some scrambled eggs in the morning. It's like hey, it is what it is. You know. We're gonna get ourselves some Rathian eggs, sunny side up. <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! Oh no! Oof, I thought that might have been too high. Absolutely ungentlemanlike behavior. I know Hildebrand would have not approved. Hildebrand would have not approved. Oi! Rathian? Think about this. Don't make me give you another shower now.
What the hell? What? No! No! I was looking at the map! I was looking at the map! <laughs> Listen guys, we're gonna get this egg, okay? Listen. Listen. We're gonna get this egg. It's all good. We're gonna get this egg. All right. I don't know why people say that egg quests aren't fun. I think this is hilarious. <laughs> people are like, man, egg quests suck. Like, what are you talking about? Everybody in this chat appears to be having the time of their lives. This is peak monster hunter. Here she comes again, boys. I can't believe I wasn't paying attention to my stamina, though. That was pretty dumb. Then again, in my defense, I haven't done an egg delivery quest in quite some time. Damn, she is big time mad. She's trying to figure out how to navigate the map and I'm like, see ya! Swoosh. I still had stamina! Bro, I had stamina. It's every time I look at like, look, I need you to understand. I'm playing this on like a big TV. The stamina is all the way up there. The map is all the way down here, okay? Look at where my peripheral vision is going, all right? It's actually hard to keep track of stamina on this TV. <laughs> First world problems. You guys think I'm joking, I'm not. I'll sh I'll show you after the after this hunt. I'll show you the setup that we got going cuz I moved my I moved my good monitor home cuz it was smaller and it takes up less space. And so I needed another monitor to, to use on here when I got the new PC. So I just picked up this old TV that I had lying around. I still don't think, I still don't think that I ran out of stamina there. I, I swear to God, I'm not doing this on purpose. Like I know that it seems like I'm doing it on purpose. I'm really not. Okay, I'm not going to look at Rathian anymore. I'm just going to look at my stamina because that seems to be the main problem now. <laughs> oh, crap! The fuck? She's tired. <laughs> She's actually out of stamina, too. <laughs> we <laughs> Rathian's out of stamina, too. <laughs> <laughs> she can't even shoot fire anymore. Oh my god. What the fuck? Oh my god.
Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Oof. All right. See, guys? Easy. People have problems with these quests? What? <laughs> oh, wait. I'm going to show you. Look at the size of the TV behind me. You see like, you see those two monitors that are next to it? You see those two small monitors? Those are like, okay, those are not that big. They're probably like, I don't know, 17 inch monitors. They're actually a little bit smaller even. They're smaller than 17 inch monitors, but they're like 17 inch monitors. The TV that I'm playing on, and this is like a super old TV by the way, but the TV that I'm playing on is like a 40 inch. So it's like, I'm not joking when I'm telling you that I have to look down to look at the map and when you're looking at the map you lose track of your stamina because it's on the on the upper corner. That's why. Can you lower the bigger TV? No, I can't. Oops, what the hell? Old man eyes. That too. Big TV problems, too much of a good thing. Actually, like I was saying, I actually prefer smaller monitors. The problem is that smaller monitors are like a 4K monitor at this point, for those of you that are not aware, is more expensive than a TV that looks like this. Like, you guys might think, ooh, 40 inch TV, big, big luxury and stuff like that. It's like, no, actually the smaller it would be, the better. It's just like, this is cheaper. Like, when I got this, this was, uh, I don't know, three, four years ago, give or take? I got this for, like, 300 bones. It is dirt cheap. The problem with this TV is that the latency on it is atrocious. It is terrible. But yeah. Yeah, TVs are actually cheaper exactly. That's the point. Like, I keep telling you guys, okay, look, I make very good use of any support that I am given. I look for all the deals. I... I try to buy the things that are the most cost effective possible okay i'm not out here fucking splurging all right everything that i purchase is at the best possible price it could ever be when i purchase it i'm a stingy bastard yeah that's the thing the input lag is the biggest problem but i can live with that i can live with that it's not too bad. It's like two milliseconds, give or take, I think. I think this TV is two milliseconds. Doot, doot, doot. Yeah, I got, I got this TV on Black Friday. Yep. Yeah, usually whenever it comes to buying stuff like this, Black Friday. Like, for instance, pay attention to when I was assembling my new computer. What happened shortly before I assembled my new computer? Actually, think about it. Just think about it for a little bit. Wait, Rurikon assembled new computer was at the end of last month. What happens at the end of last month? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Why do you think I bought a new computer then? Black Friday. Even though there weren't that many good good deals this Black Friday, to be honest. <sighs> I've never noticed any input lag when I play on my TV versus monitor. Um... Maybe your monitor is also not... I mean, look, I don't want to... I don't want to crap on your setup, but maybe your monitor is also not very good. I can definitely tell the latency, dude. I can 100% tell the latency. Between a TV and a good monitor? Yep. It's night and day. Night and day. Like, for instance, to give you guys an idea, right? Um, a couple of... It was at some point last year, probably during Black Friday as well. Last year was when I bought the the monitor that I currently have at my house. And that was the one time where I was like, I want to get a 144 hertz monitor. 
And it also needs to have 4K. And the reasoning is, if you want it to, right now, for, right now, PlayStation 5 can actually output 1440p. But when I bought that monitor, PlayStation 5 did not output 1440p. So PlayStation 5 would will output either 1080p or 4K. So I was like, I want to get a 144 hertz monitor. Actually, I didn't even want it a 144. I wanted a 120. I wanted to get a 120 hertz monitor because I never had one. So I was like, I want one of these. I want to see what this looks like when you're actually playing at an even higher frame rate. It's just the 144 one was the one where I found the best possible deal that also had 4K resolution so that I could use it with the PlayStation as well. So I bought that sucker and that sucker was like 600 bones. And I was like, fuck. That was ridiculous. And that was Black Friday. Black Friday deal, 600 bones. So monitors are way more expensive, dude. Okay, I think we've done everything and now we can actually go do the assigned quests. All right, yep, all of these are done. Wait, how about requests? We need to go get three protectors still. Oh, I can turn in the Anjanath pelt. Nice. Let's do that. <clears throat> Props to Rui. I can never do it with Rathian chasing me while carrying the egg because I would make mistakes the longer it takes. That's the thing, guys. It's like the first time that I played through Monster Hunter World, there was a certain sense of pressure in terms of how fast I need to go through the game because I'm doing content for the game. But for this playthrough, there's no pressure. It's like, why do I need to go fast? You've all seen this content before. There's nobody here that is seeing any of this content for the first time. Therefore, there's no need to go fast. We've done every bit of content that we're probably ever gonna do on Monster Hunter World. So I can just take my time. So it's like, I think it's funny to do the egg quest while the Rathen is going after me. And if it takes longer, I don't care. So long as you guys are enjoying yourselves, that's fine by me. Now, if it gets boring, then I would probably have to do something, but I don't think that quest was boring. Hell, I'm thinking about making a highlight of that quest, uploading it later. Oof. Let me see. Uh, yeah, complete deliveries. Add in. Uh, let's go get those protectors while we're at it. Why not? Playing through World again is so nostalgic. Yep, 100%. Butter cookie box. Does it have cookies or sewing supplies? Mine has cookies, but every now and then I still have PTSD flashbacks and I open it just to check. Like, I'll go like, just like, did you transform into sewing supplies? No? Okay, good. So far, it's only had cookies. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's go to world map, wildspire wastes. Do do do. It's a good refresher for memories we've made. Yeah. Love watching you play at your pace. You enjoy yourself so much more. The Elden Ring playthrough is also awesome. See, in Elden Ring, I was also on a little bit of pressure. But even then, I got to play it early, so that took a little bit of the edge off. But yeah. Playing at your own pace is always more enjoyable than trying to go giga fast. And, and I feel like nowadays, a lot of people, they play through games too fast because they want to be a part of the social discourse. So, I think there's a lot of people that actually don't enjoy video games anymore, but they just want to be a part of the conversation. So they'll burn through a game at breakneck pace, and then they finish the game, and I was like, Ugh, that was no end game. It's like, motherfucker, you rushed through the whole fucking thing. The end game was right there. It was right there from the beginning. Why the fuck did you rush through it? Like, what's wrong with you? Yeah, there's a lot of people that rush through games nowadays just to be a part of the, of the conversation. 
And I think that's a dumb thing to do, to be honest. Uh, what does she want? I wasn't even paying attention. I was going on my tirade. Uh, what do you want? What do you want? Carrier ant capture? Oh, you mean like the ones that are right here? These ones? Oh, I need to capture a bunch of them, though. Okay. Looks like you get three of these at a time. But I'm sure we'll get more as we progress through this. Uh, we should have, like, some... Yeah, here we go. Protectors. Good morning, Sanryu. What's up? Did For You and Generations also have the same community divide as World and Rise? No. And a, a big reason why we're seeing this divide is because this is just what happens whenever a game gets popular. Like, for instance, if you look at Dark Souls, right? Dark Souls wasn't popular when it came out. Like, I personally knew that I was going to love it because I played Demon Souls, and I'm not saying this in, like, the hipster, oh, I liked it before it was cool. It was like, I knew that I was going to like it because I played the ever-living crap out of Demon Souls, so I knew that I was going to be into Dark Souls, right? So we jump into Dark Souls, and in the beginning, the community was actually, there was no, you know, there was no, like, negative attitude towards other people. You know, there's been some stuff about people saying about gatekeeping here and there. I still think that a majority of the Dark Souls community is actually extremely positive and welcoming. But over time, as the game became more and more popular, you just start attracting a couple of bad apples here and there, and that's when things start getting a little bit divisive, and you get into conversations like, oh, this Souls game is bad because of this, and this Souls game is bad because of that, and oh, this game is actually terrible, actual. Like, you know, those types of videos and that type of commentary, that only really happens when games reach a certain level of popularity. So the reason why you have, like, this big discourse around, ooh, Rise was bad, actually, is because the game is popular. And there's an interest in having these types of conversations online because divisive conversations blow up, you know? Because you know that if you do a criticism of Rise, hell, there's probably a lot of people that even put out the opinion of, oh, I actually like Rise and World is bad. There's probably a lot of people that feel that way and they put that opinion out there because you can get the rise out of other people and that triggers posts to go viral. And that's why you have a lot of this back and forth in the community. It's simply because the game is popular. So I wouldn't really take a lot of that bullshit seriously, personally. It's whatever. To those who criticize Elden Ring, I ignore and go play Elden Ring. Exactly. Exactly. People saying Elden Ring's bad. Like, bro, imagine. Imagine actually saying some dumb shit like that, unironically. <laughs> Elden Ring's bad, actually. No, you're bad, and your opinion's bad, too. Oh, geckos. Bro, we got like three with that one. In reality, I just I like X game better than Y because it's my taste more. Exactly. That's all that's all there is to it. It's like we need to not take this discourse as seriously as we do, and I'm guilty of it too. I take I take stuff maybe more seriously than I should, because at the end of the day, a lot of it is just manufactured uh what do you call it? Manufactured outrage, something like that. Wait, where am I going? Crap, I was supposed to go that way. Am I even in the right place? No, this is the way. Wait. Am I not supposed to chase these guys down? I'm confused. The vine apple. Lucky! 
Kestodon, Vespoid. I forget what you had to do in this quest. You capture them with the net? Yeah, but I have to be able to locate them first. The scout flies just send me here. Ha! Do the scout flies actual- oh, you can go this way, okay. In before the Oblos. I could probably beat a Diablos. Famous last words. I could probably beat that sucker. But it wouldn't even be challenging either. Game looks so friggin' good though. But yeah, I got a project in the works that I'm going to be recording tomorrow. This is going to be like I mean it's it's a cons cast, it's not really a project. It's it's an episode of cons cast that I'm recording tomorrow that I'm gonna be releasing at some point next week. This is gonna be like gig old school. I don't even know if uh if people are going to be aware of the of who the guest is. It's been a long time, probably, since some of you guys have seen him. But uh it's it's a really old school one. Really hope you guys will enjoy it. Let's see, there's another one over here. Is it Pally time? No, it's not Pally time. I did ask Pally time to jump in, I think around the, the was it Diablo 4? No, I think it was Baldur's Gate. I don't know, I remember at one point I asked Pally time, but he's he's been like, he's always giga busy, which makes it very hard. So, yeah. Bill Clinton? Yeah, no, yeah, it's the Bill Clinton kid. I got the guy who crashed the game awards. That's not that old school. Did no Pally Time came on here before? Pally Time hasn't come on Conscast yet, but me and Pally Time used to work together a while back. I still have the, like I said, I never take them off. The squadron uh, rubber bands. Like, these are the squadron rubber bands, for those of you who even know what the squadron is. I never take them off. Squadron was some of my favorite times uh, in content creation. One of these days I should get Hengist for the podcast. No, stop! I missed that one. We gotta be fast with that stuff. Will it be Hengist tomorrow? No. I don't think you guys would be able to guess. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm not gonna tell you who it is, even if you do guess. Surprise. Oricon, the Gunlands player using Charge Blade, never see the day. Bro, 
Did people just not watch my world content? Like, I played more Charge Blade than Gunlance in Monster Hunter World initially. Okay, where's the other one now? Uh, isn't this just the... This is just their nest, right? Oh, here it is. Oh, I haven't gotten around to watching that video yet. I need to get to it. I've just been really busy these last couple of days. Trying to get some content done because uh, I'm probably not going to be around next week. Ah. Uh. Uh. Thinking of stealing another egg? I'm always robbing eggs, man. I'm an eggnivore or something. When I first started watching you, I came across a video in which you really got me hyped about using Sword and Shield when you were talking about it. Got me all hyped. Good. Sword and Shield's amazing. Wait. Where is he? Is he down there? He's down there. Oh. Yoink. Let's hurry back and report. Listen, guys, there's only one right answer when it comes to picking your favorite monster. And that answer consists of two words. Seething Basel Goose. This is the only right answer, okay? This is one of those situations where there are wrong answers, okay? Sorry that I have to be the one to break it to you. There are wrong answers to that question. Tummy Giggles, delete that message. Actually, tell you what, Tummy Giggles, give yourself a, a 30 second timeout for that one. <laughs> give yourself a 30 second timeout. That's what you deserve for a take so bad. <sighs> Seething Basel is the best boy. You'll stream Dragon's Dogma 2, right? 100%. Sorry, my allergies. <sighs> I remember your hammer video became a hammer main, then branched out into other weapons. Bro! Hammer in Iceborne, though. Ooh. Is it the best hammer iteration ever? It might be. I think that might be what we do for Iceborne. Priceborn, we main hammer. No, you guys are never gonna guess it. Forget about it, homo homo. I already said I'm not gonna tell you who it is, and you will never guess it. I'll, I'll tell you what, though. I respect the great Jaggy choice. I do. I respect that.
Namiel was cool, yeah. Great, we made it. Let's start by finding a way forward. I think we can get through if we head this way. Tickle my toads. <laughs> Well, tickle my toadstools. <laughs> Dude, what? who says that? That somebody in the localization team was having themselves a good time. <laughs> Oh my god, more now I need to talk to all of them. Uh, this one's not as funny. Tickle my toadstools. <laughs> uh. Actually, can I can I screen capture that? Does he say it again? Be careful. Ah, oh, damn it. I should have screen grabbed that. I want to tweet that. Tickle my toadstools. <laughs> well, tickle my toadstools. Sora <laughs> mm. Magdros went straight through. We didn't even slow it down. I'm guessing there's something pretty important on the other side. No way. Look at the size of this fissure. Fisher. Fisher it made. This, this is the power of an elder dragon. Okay. Do, 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 do. Guys, just remember when you're looking at this. By the way, as you're looking at this massive fissure that everybody says, "Oh my God, look at the size of this fissure," I just want you to remember. The elf lost track of it. He lost track of something that did this. He somehow is like, I don't know. One moment it was there, the next moment it was gone. It was just poof. It just evaporated out of thin air. I don't know what happened to it. It was gone. Oh no. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <sighs> we gotta be careful not to fall here. Do 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 Think we're getting close? The Coral Highlands, man, this map is beautiful. Where is he down there? <laughs>
This game had such a magical touch to it. Has such a magical touch. Hello. You're awake. Do you remember your fall? A friend of ours found you napping in the veil and carried you here, but more to the point. Congratulations, you found the third fleet. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the third fleet podcast. <laughs> I'm their leader to the extent that still means something. This is our research base. Our fleet consists entirely of scholars. Which fleet are you with? And how did you get here? What happened in the Great Ravine? Hmm. I see. So this Zora Magdros was the latest Elder Dragon to make the crossing. And it breached the Great Ravine when you tried to uh, capture it? Hmm. Well, I suppose after all this time, we may have to get... We may, we may get to finally do what we came here for. I must say that I'm stimulated. Zero voltage error. Thank you very much for becoming grossing against us for eight months. Tip of the hat. Appreciate support. Thank you. She is often barefoot. Marie wanted to observe Wyvarian feats. She's the go-to girl for that. Well then, let's not waste any time. We need to pick up Zora Magdros's trail. An expedition into the Coral Highlands must be might be fruitful, wouldn't you agree? For obvious reasons, that is what we call the surrounding area. A nice thorough expedition would reveal the Highlands secrets. It's a good idea, is it not? I know it's a good idea. I came up with it. Now go, quickly. Doing a careful expedition into the Coral Highlands sounds like a good idea to me. I never even thought about that, but you're right. And it's not like, oh, Rurikon wants to check out Wyvarian feet. What I said was that I never noticed that Wyvarian have, like, these almost goat-like feet because they become way thinner, not like human feet. But I've actually never looked at them. You've made me curious now. Let's go into view mode. The fuck? They got like claws and stuff. I don't like them. They're kind of funky looking. Look at that Wyvarian foot. Look. That's what it looks like. Four fingers, thank you very much, not three. Just stay right there for ten more seconds. Bro! No! Never looking at that again. Hey there. Ooh, a charm. Nice. Oh, we can't change gear here. We'll have to do it. <clears throat> what about the uh, Palico stuff? Do we need to do a quest for that? I think we might need to do a quest for that. Bro, I think it'd be amazing if this became the... Mm -hmm. If this became the the base of operations for Monster Hunter Wilds, I think that'd be friggin' amazing. Oh, I guess there's no weeding out here, huh? Okay. 
Let's go. I was not down bad. Like I said, I was just curious about their feet. You know, it's weird that everybody sexualizes feet nowadays. What the fuck, dude? I was just curious. Because they look like they have like a goat-like formation. I've never seen Wyvarian feet. Side of Titiyaku. <clears throat> Look for a campsite. Okay. Well, let's start looking for stuff. Uh. I'm studying the life. Ooh. Yoink, yoink. Susie fish. Yes. Take all the burbs. Uh. We should take a Kelby too. Get on my net. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, partner. Imagine just casually finding, like, um, a Kirin down here. I just like a Kirin in there. You know? Oh, here they are. Here they are. Damn it. Bro, do you see them hide before the thing would even hit? That was crazy. That's crazy. Splish splash. Froth and foam. Yoink. Uh. Flying Medusa. I forget what's even down here. I don't think I need to come down. Yeah, there's nothing down here. Except for the view. Anybody uh, seen a Titiyaku run? Oh, we should get one of these boys, though. Never know when you might need them.
Right, carve them boys. Carve them shamus. Okay. Let's go this way. Pick up some shrooms, chill out. There's a camp up here. Wow. What an incredible ecosystem. Have you ever seen anything like this? Has anyone? Come on, let's go exploring. It was right here that my friend shot me down with his bow. Like, there was, um, there was me, there was two other friends. We were fighting down here. Well, it was me and three other friends. Uh, they were fighting down here at Kieran, and I was coming up from there. And I was like, okay, here I go. And I'm coming in with a friggin' slam attack with the gun lance. And my bow friend goes, her dur, little pebbles go brr. And he friggin' knocks me out from my animation. And I was like, bruh, bruh, what is wrong with you? Oh, come on, I wanna kill some of these. Come back here. Got one. You know, just unlocking their materials. Legiana? Hardly. You wanna stop that? Now I'm just gonna go for the triple roar. Do you wanna go for another one? Thank you. I'm busy gathering this. Now listen, Legiana. I don't wanna have to beat you till your legs don't work. God damn. Hey partner. Ouch. Shit's like a truck. Okay, let's go get the camp. <clears throat> the one camp that I remember anyway. Then we need to go find that Tsitsi Yaku. Tsitsi Yaku!
Photograph your raptor as wild comes in, catches you in 4K and leaves. Reminds me of myself in it. Re- <laughs> God damn it, Ark. Thank you very much for the soul tip of the hat. Appreciate support, dude. What the hell, dude? <laughs> Yeah, 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 I know. Yoink. I think we could build the camp here. Let's ask the head honchos. Let's ask the head honchos. No, listen, I'm the head honcho. You should be asking me. Because I make the rules. I just realized something. Did Monster Hunter Worlds have the Final Fantasy XIV collaboration on Xbox? Was that a thing? Yes. So they couldn't even play Final Fantasy XIV but they could do the Final Fantasy XIV collab in Monster Hunter Worlds. It's a bit strange. Anyway, we gotta go downstairs to find Kuluyaku. Not cool, Yaku. Titi Yaku. Titi Yaku. It's like fourteen players only doing PC with sixteen collab. I mean, I'm pretty sure 16's coming to PC at this point. Yaku. Whoa. Sounds like the research base has a new guest. Want to go back and check in? Maybe grab something to eat? Oh, we just have to sight him. We don't have to hunt him. Interesting. I thought we had to hunt him, but I mean, if we're not going to. Get proper rewards. No reason to do it. Can you show your build final gunlance? I don't I don't have a gunlance build on PC. There's probably a my final gunlance build video is already online in the channel. As you've returned empty-handed, a shame. Hmm. Anyway, you have a visitor. Yo. Look who it is, my two favorite hard workers. Third Fleet Master here tells me you went out on an expedition to the Coral Highlands searching for Zora Magdaros' clues. She also tells me there's this rotten veil way, way down beneath us, which gave me an idea. If we want to be able to access the Veil, we'll need a means to get down there, so I propose we resurrect the Wrecked Base. As in, rigging it with balloons to reconvert it into an airship, and the leaders here is all for it. Yes, rig to your heart's content. 
From the air, we'll be able to survey the rotten veil unimpeded, and hopefully that's where we'll pick up Zora's trail. The airship engineer said he'll take care of the airship construction. All we need to do is deliver the goods. According to the scholars, materials from a monster called the Paolumu are just the ticket. If you take care of the Paolumu hunt, that'll free me up to go look for some secondary materials. Deal? Oops. Oh, and here, the old man said to give this to you. Specialized tool made using materials from the local monsters. They had a handful of bio samples kicking around in Astera, so they decided to put them to use. The old man says he hopes the new gear helps you out in the field. You'll put it to good use, I'm sure. Going? Well, let's get to it. Good luck. Glider mantle! G1 Sunstraker, thank you very much for being for the souls. Tip of the hat, appreciate support. Fun fact, the World Art Book quotes the team realizing the mistake that Tsitsi's flaps are broken by the time he returns to his trinket's nest. <laughs> How were the <clears throat> business dealings, Mr. Businessman Rui? They were fun. I mean, I, that was just trying something out for New Year's Dark Hero, but thank you very much for the souls. Tip of the hat, appreciate support, thank you. Or you remember your old world gunlance builds? Yes. Do you think any of the Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak NPCs will be present in Wilds? No. I don't think so. Essence, thank you very much for being wrestling with us for 23 months. Tip of the hat. Appreciate the support. Thank you. Thank you very much. You can now visit the smithy and the resource center. Boy, what do you want? Oh, they have a resource center in here as well. So that you're able to... Oh, I could finally start doing these? Was I able to do these earlier? I've been slacking. I don't want Fang Wyvern capture. Tsitsiyaku's hide for the camp. And then the Paul Lumo. <clears throat> Clement Drew, thank you very much for becoming grossly incandescent. Tip of the hat. Appreciate support. Thank you. Any good Chad Blades in low rank? I'm also trying World. Rathian. It's the best. It's a beast. And this is the smithy, I take it? Come over his hard muscle to watch the field team leader six. These days, I'm a runner for the smithy. There's just big brain types out here. Place isn't really kitted out for crafting, especially with the whole fire part. So they got me running orders back to the smithy in Astera. You need anything, I'll grab it for you. Seriously, whatever you want, just hit me up. Okay. What about the Palico boys? I guess we only get those after we recruit the um, the Plunder Blade boys. Probably. I might end up doing Plunder Blade for this run, just to speed things along a little bit. Not that I'm in a hurry, but just to make farming just a little bit more efficient. That's awesome. A flying research base. Wish we could take this guys right now, but first we gotta collect those materials. Paolumu. So you got all of these services out of here. You still can't eat, but you can eat at the uh, at the spot. So, oh damn, you had this one. Oof. A TT for science. Uh, 
I say we do a TT for science first. I think that's reasonable. Let's go. Chef's choice. What's your favorite monster to fight in world? Base world, Basel. Basel is awesome. Explosions all over the place, big ass hit zones. What's not to like? Okay, we need to find his ass. Yoink. You gotta gilly mantle these suckers. That neck break, though. Are you playing the DLC as well? Eventually. This guy just spamming his little tail attack. Come on! I need to upgrade my armor. Oh, 
Now I'm gonna bust up that pretty little head of yours. And we'll see how you feel about that, huh? Check it. Boom! Going, buddy. Where are you going? Sharpen up. Shit. Going, buddy. Mm, baby, come back. I'm gonna charge my weapon on this Shamus right here. Thank you, sir. I appreciate your service. Yeah, this is a pure non iceborne run. Uh, Yami Florence, thank you very much for being with us for 31 months. Tip of the hat. Appreciate the support. Thank you. We actually disabled the uh, Iceborne DLC. So you can't do Clutch Claw, can't do Savage Axe. There's uh, quite a few things that we can't do. At what point will you transition to Iceborne? I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Is there still Clagger? Yes. I don't know why Clagger stays there. I feel like if you don't have Iceborne, you shouldn't have Clagger. But it is what it is. And now we smack him on his little head. Black River Rider, thank you very much for the souls. Tip of the hat. Appreciate support. Thank you for while. Should bring a battle royale type mode with one big. Why did I even read that, dude? What the hell, bro? I appreciate it, but like, what the fuck? I hope you're memeing, dude. Battle royale mode with 50 players. What the fuck? Dude. No, no, they shouldn't do that. What's next? A season pass? Yeah, I should have a season pass too. 
just like Fortnite. Ash and Punk, thank you very much for becoming grossly incandescent. Tip of the hat. Appreciate support. Thank you. They most definitely should not do that. Your harvest box is full. Items can be delivered. New research results are available. We need to go to the base. We need to go home base. We'll be right back, boys. I hope you're aware of the Iceborne update still being in base world. Even if you don't have Iceborne installed, they still have all the buffs and nerfs. The only thing it doesn't have is the clutch. I know. You don't want to play 50 hours a week just for your only chance to get certain weapons and armor? No, I don't. Aquasacks. It just so happens I have those. Andre Yokoyama, thank you very much for becoming grossly incandescent. Tip of the hat. Appreciate support. Thank you. Some people don't realize how much Monster Hunter Rui has played. That's fine. <laughs> I had, uh, before this playthrough, we had somewhere in the vicinity of 2,800 hours. Uh, played in this game. I think everyone misunderstood the guy saying competitive group hunt, not PvP. I still don't want the 50 player hunt. I'm not interested in the 50 player hunt. I ain't about that life. I've already made it to the far side. My shooting star is always shooting past my expectations. They tell you the scholars have deduced from reserving Zora Magros. They think it has a tremendous amount of bioenergy stored up inside it. And that bioenergy is extremely volatile. Great news, right? Well, we can't predict what will happen to it or to us. All we can do is keep pressing forward with our research. Just promise you'll be extra cautious. And may the Sapphire Star light your way. Okay, we have, oh yeah, we have quests everywhere up in here right now. Where do we have quests? Everywhere! Uh, I also wanted to accept this. Oh, it's you. Do -do 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 -do. Keep it pumping. Keep that honey train coming. Complete deliveries. Here you go. And here you go. Alright. Now let's see what everybody else wants. Did you play Freedom to Unite? I did, but I never finished it. Freedom to Unite is actually how I learned how to play the game. A friend of mine taught me how to play it with Freedom Unite. <clears throat> I don't know what's the hate towards the Clutch Claw. You make it seem like you have to spam it, but you barely use it a few times per hunt, and it's fun to clutch upon the monster. Wire bugging around is... Uh, it, what? Wire bugging around is fun. S shaking my head. It's like, look. It all depends on how long you've played. 
how long you've played the game is going to dictate how you look at the Clutch Claw. That's pretty much the way that I look at it. It's like, if you've used the Clutch Claw a little bit, you're like, oh, this is fun, you know, wall banging monster. We all thought it was fun at the start. I mean, the moment we start wall banging monsters into walls, we loved it. We thought it was amazing. The problem becomes when after you've gone through and you've played Clutch Claw for 200 hours, 300 hours, 400 hours, you very quickly get to a point where it's like, is the monster enraged? Nope, wall bang it. Is it enraged? Nope. Wall bang it. It's enraged now? Okay, don't wall bang. That's the problem. And the other problem is, you know, tenderizing, weakness exploit nerf, all of that stuff. Even though that part didn't bother me as much. To me, it was more the whole situation with, is it enraged? Nope. Wall bang it. Is it enraged? Nope. Wall bang it. That's the thing. That's why people complain about it. Uh, what was I looking for? Oh, right. I just wanted to talk to... Yeah, because he's got a quest. Oh. Okay, we now have an arena. Okay. He's telling me all about the arena. We got two more quests up here. Gijau skin. Okay, we can turn this one in instantly. What else you got? You interested in bulking up the canteen with more ingredients? Now that's what I'm talking about. All you gotta do is sign up and complete the quest. It's a crying Seamus and what a bunch of Avalone. Knock those out and we'll get that menu so bulky you'll make gains just from reading it. Now don't let me down. It's a crying Seamus. A crying Seamus. Seamus. Okay, we got it. We got everything that was going to be done around here. Let me just see real quick if I can upgrade the Rathian gun lines. I, like, I, I, just, I, just, I, just, I just need to see. Okay. I just, I just need to see if I can do it. I'm just, I'm just curious. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna, but I'm curious, you know. Sometimes you get a little bit of curiosity in there and you just don't know. Yeah, see, I need three spikes. So it's, uh, it feels bad. But, 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 it is also craftable. It's craftable. It's craftable. What do you need for it? Bruh. Forge, weapons, gun lines. Why can't I forge it? It's not even telling me the materials. What the fuck? I'm not trying to upgrade. I'm trying to forge it. You're supposed to be able to forge it off the bat. That's strange. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to be able to forge it, but whatever. So we can go... Oh, we have to go through the pulsar, and then we have to go to her. Yeah, that's a lot of materials. We don't want to do that now. Okay, let's swoop over to research base. We'll do the Paolumu quest. It's Paolumu time! Everything's done around here. <laughs> uh, 
Let's go to Paolumu City. Ballooning problems. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. By the way, team, if you're enjoying the stream, do remember you can hit the like button. It really helps us out. Thank you. Give Be me careful. the chef's choice. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. What was the thing that I was looking? Oh yeah, meat. Why can't we have some meat? I don't know if the flashes are unnerfed. I would assume the flashes are nerfed because this still has the Iceborne patch. Even though we don't have Iceborne, the patch is still there. Or do you think Wild's cooking will leave us hungry? Not sure what that means. That sentence can be interpreted in many different ways. It's a leggy. Not what we're looking for. Oh, wait. Oops. Whee! After we get the Paul Lumo, I should upgrade my armor. Oh, show. Because that leggy was hitting pretty hard. Pretty hard. Let's get some of that neck break going. No, I'm not an Iceborne. What the hell? Boop. Wrong monster. Bro, I'm gonna find every monster except the one that I need. I think he was asking the food will look as good as Worlds. I think it'll look better. Have you guys seen what the food looks like in Dragon's Dogma 2? You better believe that it's going to look even better in Monster Hunter Wilds. Oh, look at him. He's just a little fluffy ball. He's the little ball of fluff. That's how it's gonna be, huh? That's how it's gonna be, buddy. All right, you asked for this.
see throughout this playthrough, if you were to ask me, Rurikun, what's your sexual orientation? I'd probably go like, bro, I am charge blade sexual. That thing hurts so much. That Palico save right there. This way. Does that mean you need to get a few hits in to get going? No. It means I like charge blades. Why are you guys so weird? You guys are just being weird, man. Get flashed, son. I love when the Tsitsiyaku just drive by flashes. He just flashes and then leaves. Like a park pervert. Damn it, I missed. Bitch. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Ooh, Slinger Thorn. This way? I should have sharpened. Should have sharpened it. Yo, boom! 
That's gotta hurt. I'll listen here, buddy. Careful. Hurt yourself. Why so serious? Here it comes! Look at him. This move is actually pretty cool. It's like, oh, he's going away. And then so he's like, no, I'm not. <laughs> it's like, you thought I was going away. Boy. Oh, that was a nice counter. But it's my turn. You see those goddamn Mickey Mouse ears of yours? No, I'm not saying I'm going to get revenge for everything that the friggin' House of Mouse has done. It's one of my favorite series of all times, and I'm just going to unload it all over your face. But I am saying that, actually. Fuck you, you Mickey Mouse-looking bastard. Partner, let's hurry back to the research base. That's what you get for ruining Star Wars. <laughs> I think we need to make the Rathian gun lens. I think it needs to happen, guys. I think it's just the thing that needs to happen. That escalated quickly. Yes. There's a lot of pent-up frustration right here from my man Luke Skywalker. Did I ever tell you guys about that tweet I made that Mark Hamill liked? When I tweeted about how that death robot in Rogue One had a better death scene that, than Luke Skywalker. <laughs> oh man. Feels bad. At last. The balloons have been rigged and the airship is ready. All thanks to you and the airship engineer. We've completed preparations on our side as well. We can depart whenever you're ready. However, I do have one thing worth mentioning. We never bothered with a test flight. That's not going to be a problem for you, is it? When you're ready to say the word, we'll make our ascent to the Rotten Vale. Uh, shouldn't you prepare before you head down to the Rotten Vale? Maybe. Right. I mean to tell you, I was wondering the Coral Highlands, looking for materials for the airship, and I got to thinking. It'd be a whole lot easier to move around the Coral Highlands if I put together a rope lift. So I put in a request at the resource center for the parts I need. They can make things a lot more convenient. It'd be great if you could help out. I'm counting on you. Seamus Hyde. All right. Obviously, we're going to need to go Seamus hunting. Seamus... However, before we do that, I want to, I do, I do, I have to, I have to do it, team. I have to do it, fam. I think we, I think we need to craft the Rathian gun lance. I think it just needs to happen. I think it's just one of those situations that we just need to consider the, the pros and cons. And there's no cons. There's only pros to crafting the Rathian gun lance. So I think it's just something that needs to be done. Where's the, this is the resource center here, right? Isn't here, brother, brother, brother. I need good quests. A Rathian capture, this sounds good. A Toby Kadachi hunt, this is very good. Wasn't there a filter? Yeah, sort by target. Toby Kadachi. 
Tobikodachi, Kuliaku. Okay, so there's only two Tobikodachi hunts. Uh, we'll do this one. Wait, why is this one... Oh, because this one messes with the time. We'll do this one. Oh, listen, buddy. Hey, partner. Wait, I can't actually do quests here now? Fine, be that way. I'll just go somewhere else. Shh, whatever. This thumbnail style is super clever. You don't num number it until the next one releases. It's interesting that you've only just noticed that, Ratatosker. I've been using this for years! <laughs> I've been using this thumbnail style for years, bro! <laughs> you keep stealing things from me! This is not fair! Listen, I'm calling Aunt Susan, okay? That's it, Ratatosker. You're done, brother. You're done. I'm calling Aunt Susan. Yeah, hello? Yeah, excuse me. Su I I'm, I'm looking for Susan Wajiki. She doesn't work there anymore? Well, who's in charge now? Neil? Okay, can, can you get Neil on the line? Yeah, there's this content creator that keeps stealing things that I do. He told me to go fuck myself and... Yeah, that was it. He hung up on me. <laughs> I'm joking. I don't care. <laughs> it's smart. Okay, what we got? Coral bones. Probably a longsword main. Good to see yeah. you. I think Uncle Neil might be a longsword main, true. Big true. White monster for a white coat. Oh, we got a new quest for the Paolumus also. Have you been keeping up with my fertilizer, brother? Yeah, you have. Good boy. Keep it up. Wait, does the fertilizer just auto-renew? I don't even know anymore. Anyway. Uh, oh. There's a thingamajig here. I think you have to re-up the fertilizer. It said that it was still there for two cycles. Pa Paolumu have artillery? Does he? I forget if he does. Let's see. Forge equipment. Armor. It's also time for us to do. Ooh, we have a uh, we have some reviews to do. So we have the Shamus glasses. They look pretty cool. No complaints here. I think they look nice. Detector. What does this even do again? Rare gathering points on the wildlife map. Okay, these look cool. I don't really have a whole lot to say about them. I think they look cool. Then we have the Tsitsi armor. See, the Tsitsi armor is a big W. I love the long coat. Long coat style stuff, I'm all about it. The one thing that I'm not a huge fan of is the the little things coming off of the mask, the whiskers. That I'm not a big fan of, but I think it's all right. But yeah, this is a big W armor for me. I love it. I love the way that it looks. Big ups. Big ups on Tsitsiyaku. I like it. What skills do we have? Blindsider improves the effectiveness of flash attacks and items. Constitution, stun resistance, wide range, sleep resistance. And then we have Lumu action. Lumu is also kind of cool. 
Although sometimes I feel like it's a little bit too fuzzy, but it makes sense. It's just I like the fact that it almost looks like he's a boat captain. I like that. Not a boat, a ship captain. I like that. Tickles my Portuguese roots, you know? Or better yet. Better yet. Well, tickle my toadstools. <laughs> it tickles my toadstools. Ooh, Master Mounter. Artillery! Artillery on gloves! Let's go! Artillery on gloves! <laughs> Artillery on gloves, baby. That's what's up. All right, the rest of it is whatever. So, we're going to need some Toby materials in order to upgrade our weapon. Let me take a quick look here. Excuse me, sir. We're going to need some Toby materials up in here. Blah, 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 blah. Whoa! We have expanded. Damn, son. I love how I have five plates and no spikes. Like, what the hell? How do we... Okay, we wish list this. And we wish list this. So we need two pelts. Pelts should be fairly easy to get. So we need two Toby Kadachi pelts and three spikes. The spikes is going to be the harder thing to get. So, let's get to it, to it. Let's get to it, to it. We're gonna craft, we're gonna go all out Rathian weapons. That's our, that's our job. We're gonna go Rathian like it's our job right now. Let's first see if we have any optional quests that include the monsters in question. Excuse me. Hey, hey pard. So what quests have you got in here? Hmm? Special arena Baroth, we don't need that. It's crying Seamus, bunch of abalone, white monster for a white coat. We don't need any of these. Okay. How about events? We do have where sun meets moon. What's the reward for this? Special ticket and increased rare material rewards. What the hell is this special ticket for? I don't remember what this is for. We're doing it. Considering it's two monsters, it's probably not going to take too long. And maybe we'll get all the materials that we need for our buddy. Excuse me, boyos. We got to go things to do. Yoink. I'm gonna get those account items just in case there's anything important there. Downy dual blades, the downy crakes. Oh man, I remember when I was trying to grab the downy crakes. That was nightmare. Nightmare fuel right there. Friggin' downy crakes saga. No more. V Daddy O'Ruricon, love your channel, never played Monster Hunter. Tried it briefly once years ago. Tell me what you love about it. See, the thing about Monster Hunter is that very few people actually like Monster Hunter the first time they try it. As a matter of fact, let me tell you, myself personally, first time I played Monster Hunter was Monster Hunter Try. I hated it. I had no idea what the fuck was going on. I had no idea what I was doing. And it seemed boring. It seemed terrible. I was like, what the hell do you mean? Where are the small monsters in this game? You know, where are the levels? Am I not supposed to go through a level and kill creatures and eventually culminate into a boss fight? because those are the expectations that a lot of people bring into Monster Hunter. They think, ooh, it's a big monster game. 
That means you kill a bunch of small monsters, and then eventually everything culminates with you fighting a big monster. But the reality is, when it comes to Monster Hunter, that's not what the concept is at all. The concept of Monster Hunter is you are a hunter of a monster. You're just hunting the big monster. That's it. You're doing the big boss fight. And you have to prepare yourself, you have to grab a weapon, you have to beat that boss fight. It, it takes a certain shift in mentality, I feel like, if you're someone who's used to traditional RPGs, to properly enjoy Monster Hunter. And to understand that the core loop of the game... Oh! Are we supposed to capture these ones as well? Because they're over here. The core loop of the game is actually, you know... Wait, let me... Let me put this thing. Is actually going around, killing a monster, getting his materials, and then upgrading yourself so that you can kill bigger monsters. And then you kill the bigger monster, and you get his materials, you upgrade yourself again, and then you go kill even bigger monsters. That's the core loop. And that's what I like about it, because this is one of those games where, you know how when you're playing a regular RPG, sometimes you get loot, and loot is completely random, right? It's like, oh, maybe there's a chance of me getting this weapon, then this weapon has like three modifiers, and blah, 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 blah. In this game, it's like, oh, you want the fire sword? Go fight the big monster that drops the fire sword. Okay, fight him until you get all the materials for the fire sword. It's targeted farming. It's beautiful. I love it. It's the best, you know? But it's all about the monsters, the immersion, the hunt. It's a different type of game. Not everybody's going to like it. But personally, I love it. Once I got into it, it just became my favorite game of all time. Oh, damn. Uh, let me... Let me exchange my my stuffs. To be fair, the early quest, like mandatory egg delivery, is kind of ass. Is it? We just had a neck quest earlier. I thought it was amazing. I thought it was so good. I want to do a highlight of it and upload it separately for the channel. <laughs> Let's go collect another account item that's over here. You never know what you might find. Do I hear a Puke Puke? Okay, so we have enough to track the Toby Kadachi. And this should put us in the trail of the Puke as well. Okay, Toby will be harder, so we'll do him first. But let's just pick up some more of these account items. Is Rui on PC? Yes, he is. Personally, I would prefer if Capcom was to port Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. I think that'd be awesome. <clears throat> All right. Oh, it's already targeting Toby? Nice. Let's go. Bruh, stop! Certified bruh moment. Let's go!
He fell over? What the hell? We got the two pelts. How very convenient. Didn't I tell you that this is maybe a little bit too powerful? I think I told you guys about that. Yoink. No, I think I came the wrong way. I think I came the wrong way. Surprise, motherfucker! Where you going, buddy? Where are you going? Why are you leaving? Stay with us. Don't you leave now? It'd be great to get some more Rathian investigations. I think I have a couple though. Maybe we'll get our spikes that way. I don't appreciate that. Bro, I was just trying to charge him a charge blade. Hoping it was actually going to go on the offensive. Bro! What the hell is wrong with these SADs, man? This is just wrong. We just dropped the SAD on his ass and he's like, well, <laughs> that's it. I'm dying. I'm dying. It's over. QLMTA, thank you very much for becoming grossly incandescent. Tip of the hat. Appreciate support. Thank you. If only I could be so grossly incandescent. Makes me question if I should even craft the, the gun lens, <laughs> dude. I'm just wrecking so hard with the Rathian charge blade. It is this 
disgusting right now, dude. The wreckage is absolutely brutal. Guess I'll die. Exactly. He sees the SAD coming and is like, Oh, guess what, guys? I'm dead. Uh. Sword in the salad. It's like, I don't hate bow. I make fun of bow users because it's funny for me. I don't hate it. Yeah, it is a Downey Craig ticket. What about longsword? Still the same thing. I don't hate longsword. I just make fun of longsword users because it's funny. Because they get triggered. Now, to be honest, the longsword thing. You guys want to know what the long what the thing about the longsword is? The thing about the longsword, which kind of like culminated in my longsword video, because I feel like I haven't really talked that much since that video that I did for Monster Hunter Rise. The thing about the longsword to me is that whenever I'm in a live stream and somebody brings up longsword and I'm like, yeah, but longsword's overpowered. Uh, actually, actually, no. And I'm just like, bro, bro, listen, I play the gun lance. Sit down. <laughs> That's why there's so much animosity with the longswords. Like, why can't people just accept that their weapon's fucking busted? Just accept it. It's like, look, just take it. It's fine. Okay? There wouldn't be that much animosity about the longsword if people would just admit. No, it's not. It takes skill. And then I do and then I do a hunt. With that, when I did that longsword hunt in Monster Hunter Rise, and everybody's like upset, and I'm like, what? I showed you. I showed you. Do you see how fast it was? It was faster than I've ever done on my gun lance. What do you mean? It's clearly busted. Or people just enjoy it. They can enjoy it, but they can't argue against me telling me that their weapon's not busted. That's it. Just, just don't tell me that your weapon's not busted. There you go. There would be no animosity whatsoever. Exactly. Like Heroic Skeleton says. Like, if you go up to Fumito, for instance, and say, Yeah, dude, but heavy bowgun's overpowered. Fumito will probably turn to you and say, Yeah, why do you think I use it? Yeah. Exactly. They know. <laughs> you know, you tell on Bata the same thing. You're like, Yeah, why do you think I use it? You know? Long Sword is like, Well, actually... It's like, you know, that's that's the problem that I have with the longsword, right? Like, look, if Gunlance was busted, I'd be like, yeah, it's busted. You know, it is what it is. Feels great. The thing is, people have this thing that they need to be like, no, no, actually. But yeah, that's where the longsword animosity comes from and the bow as well. <laughs> At the end of the day, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. At the end of the day play whatever weapon you want so long as you're having fun it's a good weapon it doesn't matter at the end of the day none of this matters that's what you got to keep in mind uh let's see so iron gun lance so we upgrade to this and then we upgrade to that okay give me this Actually, Rory, it does matter. Here we go. Here we go. Blunty coming in with the drama. Let's go. We got some content creator drama brewing right now. Come on. What's the argument, Blunty? Let's get right down into it, dude. We can milk this for like five videos. Easy. <laughs> uh, let's see. Sort. Target. 
Uh, what are we looking for? Rathian. Capture Rathian Golden Bronze Bronze. Or Hunt Rathian Golden Bronze Bronze. 15 minutes. This one gives more Zenny. Uh, but I don't care that much about Zenny. I would rather do this one because then I can just kill her and chop her tail and do everything. What about dung pods? Way overpowered. Dung pods. Dung pods is like, look, whenever it comes to dung pods, and yeah, cunts cast with Blunty, yeah, one, one of these days we gotta hook up. For sure. But like, listen, when it comes to, gun, to dung pods, okay, I don't know if you were here when I've talked about dung pods, but let me tell you, Bulliet, what's the situation with, with dung pods, right? So, like, look at our bags right now. If we look at our bags, at our item pouch, right? Look what we have here. We have a mega potion that we drink, right? We have regular potions that we drink. We have rations that include meat that we eat. We have uh, herbal medicine that we take when we're sick. We have null berries that we also take when we're sick. And we have a supply of honey that we then pour into potions in order to make them more potent, right? We have all of these things. We have all of these things that we essentially are going to put into our bodies. And you're gonna tell me that somebody wants to put a piece of dung in there? You've ever heard the term, you don't shit where you eat? You don't put shit in the backpack where you store your food. It's just, it's just that's, who does that? What kind of a strange person goes and does that? You're gonna put shit on your bags? I'm not throwing anyone on the bus, but I did once have a creator ask me to help them create some fake drama between us. It doesn't surprise me, Blunty. Like, a lot of people, they're in the game just to, you know, to make a buck. And yeah, they'll they'll stir up fake dr not doesn't surprise me at all. Yeah. I haven't been asked for that yet, but it wouldn't surprise me if at some point somebody asks me for it, yeah. <laughs> I fill my patch with mushrooms and they grow on shit, but they're not shit. Must the dung so it's monster dung, so it's fine, smells better? No, 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 no. No, no, no. We don't we don't put dung pods in our in our thing did i activate the quest by the way or did i forgot hey partner please tell me i activated it by the way team how do we feel about investigations for wild i'm gonna i'm gonna do a poll real quick investigations for monster hunter wilds Yay? Nay. How do we feel about investigations? Because I love investigations. Investigations are awesome, as far as I'm concerned. As long as there are no levels. Yeah, I, I don't want... I don't want levels like we had for... Uh, I don't want what we had for Sunbreak. Let's put it like that. Tell you guys what, I'm even going to pop a voucher for extra rewards. Let's go. We need three spikes. We better get them. Investigations were the best. No levels. There we go. There we go. Uh, the I like them will be the first option. Sunstreaker. Triple spike hunt, let's go. Dude, I believe. I have faith. I believe in the triple spike. This is the legendary triple triple Rathian spike hunt right here. This is it. Love tempered investigations for the deco farming. It was legit a mood. See, that's another one. Like, I think investigations is too easy. We need we need to really divide the community. I'm going to do another poll, because this poll is very much one-sided. You guys already crushed it. Everybody wants investigations. Feels perfectly fine. So, tell you guys what. This is the one. This is how we break the Monster Hunter community right now. 
So for Monster Hunter Wilds. Charm RNG, Deco RNG. Here's the pull. Boom! Here we go. We're gonna crush. We're going to divide the community with this pull. A hundred percent, dude. It is a hundred percent. We are going to cut the community right down the middle. Right down the middle. This one's a rough one. This one's a rough one. Okay. Uh, the triple spike hunt. This is the one. I don't understand the deal with this. So, charms RNG means that you don't actually craft charms. You get random charms uh, through melding or some other process. Deco are, uh, that means that you can craft decorations. So you can craft like attack up decoration, you can craft uh, guard up decoration, you can craft all of the decorations, but you can't craft charms. So charms come through melding. Whereas decoration RNG is the other way around, which is what we have in world, where you can craft the charms. But speaking of charms, I forgot to equip my charm. And we have one charm right now. Uh, where you can craft charms, you can craft any charm that you want, but you need to, you know, you need to find decorations and you need to do decorations through melding and all of that stuff. That's the difference between Charm RNG and Deco RNG. Damn. This Rathian's like uh, high on drugs or something.
Come on, baby. Here it comes. Spike number one. Spike number one. Right here. Watch, 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 watch. Boom! What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Spike number one. That, listen, that's what it's all about. It's the legendary triple spike quest. It's that simple. It is that simple. By the way, guys, if you're enjoying the stream, do remember you can hit the like button. It really helps us out. Thank you. I love you. All right, let's go. One more. Oh, okay, perfect. That works. That works. Break the back. Break the back. Break the back. Was that the back? No, that was a wing. comes Oof bro it is disgusting Pretty sure you can slide here Ah It's about to get the slide going Oh, 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 baby! You guys saw that? Don't try this at home, kids. I'm a professional, okay? I am a licensed monster hunter. That clutch mount right there, bro. Doesn't get much better than that. Here it comes. Oh, bro, I was going for the back break. Nice, we're in the back, though. We're in the back. Here it comes. Bro, that back. What the hell? Where are you going? Come back. Baby, come back. You can blame it all on me. There was something. And I just can't live without you. Baby, come back. Where's she going? She's going home. She took her ball and she's going home. Oh no. I still haven't equipped flash pods. I usually only start equipping flash pods much later into the game. It's almost like unlocking tech. But I usually don't unlock them until much, much later, because I'm lazy. I'll take that. I'll take this. Boink. Come on, baby. Don't run out, shield, don't run out, shield, don't run out, shield. We're gonna unload on the back. Unload on the back. Here it comes. Damn, still not broken. There it is. Oof. That was tight. We broke that back right in the nick of time. Okay, now watch. We're gonna carve one spike. We're gonna carve one spike off of her. Then we're gonna get the third spike in the rewards. Watch. A wing talon? A webbing? Double webbings. Fail! Mission failed, boss. We'll get him next time. We'll get him next time. 
No, 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 no. We're going to... It's 100%. Listen, this is the triple spike. This is the triple spike hunt. We're still going to get two spikes. 100%. 100%. I need you guys to have faith. Hit the like button. Missed watching you. Hope you're doing good. Doing good, Gio. Thank you. Okay, let's take a look. See here. Scales. I don't remember what the spikes even look like. But I don't think they look like this. <laughs> My spikes. My spikes. Rip bozo. Well, you boys know what that means. You boys know what that means. That means we need to go back there. I need to beat the crap out of her until she gives me a goddamn spike. It's just the way that it's gotta be. It's the way that it's got to be. Let's see if there's a better investigation. Brother. Cap Tarathian, two silver rewards. Ugh. Where is this one? Wildspire Wastes, flourishing gathering points. I think the gold is more valuable. Because the spike is probably a gold, right? Do 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 do. Oh, I don't even have drop information on her yet. I know where the spikes come from. I'm just wondering what the percentage is. <laughs> Rewards. Rathian Spike. Two stars. From Carves. Back broken Rathian Spike and Rathian Plate. Tail carved Rathian Spike. So yeah, we need a chop tail. They don't tell you what you get for capture? Oh, it doesn't even show up in rewards. It's only in carves. So you should definitely not capture. You can't get it in rewards. You can only get it through carves. So back broken and tail carves. Back and tail, nothing else. I think the problem is that we broke the wings. It'd be great if we could just break the back, not break the wings. Do another Rathian. Rory, can I ask you something? I mean, you already did. Now the question is, can you ask me something else? And the answer is yes, you can ask me something else. Because you've already asked me something. I'm so smart. <laughs> Still bringing the Wrath family to an extinction, I see. Bro, it's hard to not do it when, um, when Rathian is just has such juicy weapons, dude. Rathian's weapons are just so juicy. I have to do it. It's not even a choice. Rory, can I also ask something? No, you can't ask something, Evans. 
What's your favorite low rank monster? Uh, I don't know. I usually don't think too much about that. I mean, I'm very basic. I like Rathian and Rathalos. Radabon's pretty cool. I don't know. I like a lot of monsters. Man, just got here. This pull is like, pick my poison. Yep, it is. Which monster do you like least? Mm. I need to look at like the list. Because I have a terrible memory. If I look at the list, list I might be able to come up with something. I mean... I, I assumed you were talking about this game, because if you're talking about Rise Sunbreak, it's Somna... Not even Somna, but uh, Aurora Somna can. But I also don't like Somna can, so yeah. That's just unreasonable. Beautiful. Work of art. We're going for a mount so that I can hit her in the back. comes. God damn it. Why does she always fall over, dude? We broke the wing. Here's spike number two. Believe. Believe, team. Just believe. Here it comes. Look, look. Just like that. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god, dude. We're two for two. We are two for two, baby. Well, tickle my toes, tools.
Bro, are you gonna fall over? Come on. I'm gonna need you to go ahead and fall over. I think we need to go for yet another mount, which is really gonna suck. Damn it. There we go. Come on, one more slip and slide. One more and we got it, maybe? Nope. One more, maybe? No! Don't run away! Actually, if she runs away to the spot, I think, we should be able to get them out. broken. You can die now. No, I don't have to hold back anymore. She ran away. Too, for a second I thought it was gonna crash. That scared me. It's like, bro, don't crash now. We already have the second spike. We just need to get one more spike from Carves. Just uno mas. And we broke her back. Come on. Come on, baby. Thanks for the mounting video. I many play insect life, so I'm used to mounting, but I never I'm trying new weapons, and at one point you said you could mount by running up mushroom walls. Yeah, you can. You can mount with sliding, you can mount by running up mushroom walls. Anything that puts you airborne, you can use to mount. And now, we're gonna boss the Rathian's face off. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble! Boom! 
Is there anything left to break on this poor creature? Too soon. Two shoes, Exeggutus. Here it comes. Damn it. I ran out of juice. Ran out of juice. Rathian still has some fight left in her. That iframe dodge right there. That's the Giga Chad move. Oh! Beautiful. Can you believe this? We're actually running out of time because this is a 15 minute hunt and it took us way too long to break her back. So let me make sure to mine before I head back there. And now listen, you can cart me all you want so long as I get them goddamn spikes. As long as I can get the spikes, you can do whatever you want. But you're gonna give me them spikes. You better believe I'm gonna get those spikes. Really, dude? Really? I'm gonna carve them bitches right now. Watch, watch. Here it comes. Watch. Spike. What the hell, dude? Where's my spikes? Ugh, spikes, dude. I need spikes. Can you get them from the melting pot thing? I don't even know if I've unlocked that. Maybe you'll get it from- I don't think you can get it from rewards. Oh, oh, yes, there it is, there it is, we got the spikes, we got the spikes, and we even got some random food item because I picked up some random nonsense, let's friggin go, it's a celebration baby. And once again, boys, once again, here's what we're doing. Here's what we're doing. This is how we're walking into the, uh, this is how we're walking into the workshop to make the Rathian gun lance right now. This is me. Walking into the workshop right now. Let's go make ourselves a Rathian gun lance. <laughs> With the Vince McMahon strut. Let's go, baby. Oh, my God. Give me that. Give me my gun lance, sir. I'll be taking my gun lance now. Thank you very much.
There it is. There she is. It's a thing of beauty. Look at her. She's been waiting for us. She's like, oh, you're back. Look at you. Oh, damn. You're looking mighty nice. But anyway, team, that is going to be it for today. Depending on whether you guys will be up for the next live stream or not. The next live stream is not going to be tomorrow, by the way. Because tomorrow I am recording a special episode of the Conscast. Uh, so you guys can look forward to that probably at some point next week. But uh, I'll probably stream during Friday, I think. But for now, that is going to be it. Thank you all very much for hanging out with me. If I don't see you on Friday, I'd like to wish you all a very happy holidays, a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year, all of that jazz. But like I said, I'll still be here on Friday, live with some more return to Monster Hunter World. Thank you all very much for uh, joining me in today's session. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, subscribe, bell notification icon, all of that jazz. Love you all. Stay strong. Stay safe. Peace out.